Hello and welcome to Aussie Indian and uh, I have uh, with me one of uh, the well-known writers uh, actually from Sydney but now living in India, Malti Bhujwani. Malti, welcome to Aussie Indian. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me, Raj. Of course, we have been uh, uh, reading your book, Don't Think of a Blue Ball. Um, before we get into that, uh, obviously we would like to understand your own background. And uh, I said at the outset you are a Sydney girl, is the truth? I think so because I've spent more than, I've spent most of my time in Sydney. Right. I've spent about 16 to 17 years in Sydney. Uh, apart from that, I was actually born in Singapore and uh, right now I live in Bombay. Mm -hmm. So you were educated also in Singapore? Mainly or? in Singapore and then, and then in Sydney as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, what made you make the move to Bombay? Bombay, I think it was a change that I needed. It was, ti it was a time when my daughter was going to university and uh, and so it was suddenly it was like I was free, I could move if I wanted to. She wanted to have that experience of living on her own as well. And so I was like, why not live in India? I had never lived in India before. I wanted to experience it. Mm -hmm. So I've been in Bombay now for about two years and I'm loving it actually. Really? Yeah. Okay, that's I love good. coming back, but I, I love Bombay as well. Okay, so you are permanently stationed in Bombay? For now, yes. Oh, good. And uh, of course, what's your educational background? Mainly, uh, I'm an ICF, International Coach Federation, a mm -hmm. professional certified coach with them and an ontological coach. Mm -hmm. So ontology is about, is coaching using um, body emotion language and it's a connect with spirituality as well, mm -hmm. like we were speaking about. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, and then life coaching itself is, it's a whole, it's a whole profession which is separate from counseling, therapy and, and anything else that... Uh, that people sometimes mix life coaching with. So I'm mm -hmm. trained and professional and experienced as a life coach. Right. And uh, when did your writing career start? Uh, the writing was actually incidental. So when I started coaching, I started to write articles. I wrote for magazines and newspapers here in Australia and in India as well. Mm -hmm. And then uh, somehow I was approached uh, by friends and people who said, Malti, why don't you write a book? There's so much content out there. You have so much to share from your experience and your clients' experiences and your life experiences. And why don't you put it in a book? So I started this journey about three years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I wrote, actually, I wrote the first four or five chapters. And when you read it, you'll see that after the fifth chapter, it kind of changes because I think I went through my own more challenges and more changes in my own life and then uh, I came back to the book. So when I came back, I came back with more emotion and more to share. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so and, and in the process of writing the book, we also my publishers and I decided to create the, the journal, mm -hmm. which uh, the journal. Yeah, that's that's the journal. It's called Thankfulness, Appreciation and Gratitude, mm -hmm. T-A-G for short right. tag. And what it's meant to do is encourage you to write in gratitude every night before you sleep. Because I believe that in order to have anything in your life, you first need to be grateful for what you already have. Mm -hmm. You want more money? Be grateful for the money you have. You want a better body? Be grateful for the body you have. You want better relationships? Be grateful for the people who already mm -hmm. are in your life. Go viewers, uh, that's the book uh, Malte has written. And uh, Malte, if you can tell us a bit more about this book itself, Don't Think of a Blue Ball. Uh, what, what does this uh, title mean? Thanks for asking because that's a really good question and a, a lot of people have asked me why the title Don't mm. Think of a Blue Ball. So if I said to you Raj, whatever mm. you do right now, whatever you do, close your eyes and don't think of a blue ball, mm -hmm. what do you do? I no. keep thinking of the blue ball. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So the whole thing is that you can't not think of something if you're thinking of it. Say you, say you have a problem that a problem at work that you don't want to focus on and you tell yourself I'm not going to think about it you can't because mm. you will mm -hmm. say you know uh, you have a relationship at, or, or, or a broken relationship and you don't want to think about the person you can't you can't do that you mm. will do it so the whole thing is uh, when you reframe and you you give yourself something else to think about or something else to do so in this book there's a chapter called replacing negativity so I don't think that you can get rid of negativity. You have to replace it with something else. Mm. So if I said to you, to be simplistic, think of a red ball, you can. But if I say, don't think of a blue ball, it's not possible. You mm. still imagine the blue ball. So if you say, don't worry, you worry. 
you know, on an airplane, they say, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please do not panic. What do you do? <laughs> you panic. Mm. So the title came from that chapter, which is called Replacing Negativity. Mm. And that's NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, for how we use language in a more positive and empowering way. Mm. If you can tell us the gist of, uh, the I know, the, of the book, uh, chapter by chapter. It's 12 chapters. Yeah. Uh, the first chapter is called The End of Your Life as You Know It. And the last chapter is called The Beginning of the Rest of Your Life. Right. And in between, there's chapters on moving forward, um, plugging into the universe, which to me is like having faith and, and, and having faith and belief in something bigger than just ourselves. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if we, we can call it universe, spirit, God, whatever you want to call it. I believe that you have to have that kind of faith before you can make more things happen. There's a chapter on gratitude. There's a chapter on love. Uh, romantic love or any kind of love. Mm -hmm. There's a chapter on coincidences. Uh, there's a chapter on making declarations. So it's like a step by step and there are exercises every chapter because I'm a life coach and I've got 12 or 13 years of experience behind me. I've shared from my own life, my own challenges, from mm -hmm. my relationships, my divorce, my car accidents, my trips to the dentist, uh, my run in with a con artist, just things that have happened to me myself and my clients. And I've included all that to show that this is real. It's not just theory. Mm. And this is, you know, this is how I came through obesity. I used to be really, really fat. Mm -hmm. and, and my clients' experiences and their exercises. So my, what I'm hoping is that people actually do the exercises and give them a fair go. And like you said, you know, you have to practice. It's not about... I read this somewhere, Zig Ziglar said, motivation, it's like uh, taking a shower or a bath. You need it every single day. You can't just read a book and then say, okay, that's it. Mm. You have to practice. Like meditation, you can't just meditate once and that's it. Mm. You need to make it a part of your life, like you brush your teeth. So same with personal development and personal growth. You just need to create new habits in your life. So there are exercises in there, like there's a habit forming table to help people create habits. Uh, the, the things to help, the mm. tools in here to help you create lasting change. And uh, this book was launched in India by a famous film star, yes. uh, Bollywood star. Tell us uh, more about that. So Arshad Varsi, he was in Munabai. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, we, we all know Arshad Varsi. He has yes. been in many, many films. Right. And yeah. uh, I was very lucky that he read the book and he liked it and he related with many parts of the book. Mm -hmm. And because he's a really dear friend of my publishers as well, my publishers okay. in India own Books International, Ajay Mago. So uh, he was very kind to come and launch the book. Yeah, not only in India, it has been well received internationally as well. It so, has. It's, uh, can you tell us a bit more about how it has been uh, accepted internationally? Um, I've been again really lucky that it's landed itself in the hands of some wonderful people who are helping to, to spread the word, mm -hmm. including Jack Canfield, who wrote uh, Chicken Soup for the Soul series, oh, yeah. Les Hewitt, which is uh, The Power of Focus, Bob Urichak from the Velocity Selling uh, program. And uh, so, so all of these authors and speakers and thought leaders have been endorsing the book for me, giving me quotes that I can use. I even have videos up on the channel where they've endorsed the book. It's also being translated into Bahasa Indonesia. Okay. So this is by uh, publishers in Indonesia who right. were, you know, going to translate it. Mm -hmm. And uh, here in Australia, it's actually available exclusively at the online store oo.com.au. Okay. Uh, well. Uh People can get hold of this book uh, in the normal bookshops? Uh, you, in Australia, not yet, not yet. Okay. unfortunately. Mm -hmm. It's available online at oo.com and uh, otherwise you can even order it from Indian Indian stores. Okay. In India, it's all over. It's in all the airports and all the bookshops, the leading bookshops like Crosswords. and. Mm. That's hard copies you're talking about. Yes, that's but hard copies. But electronic copies are available. Electronic and audio, we're still working on that. What's the website if you can tell us? Uh, my website is multibojwani.com. So okay. it's just www.multibojwani.com. I have a YouTube channel, which is also multibojwani. Mm -hmm. I have a strong Facebook and Twitter following, which is also multibojwani. Mm. There you go, viewers. Uh, the website address as well as the YouTube link is at the bottom of the screen. And multi, uh, of course, having written this book and having had reasonable success with it, uh, what's your next project? You know, nowadays people don't write a book, you write a trilogy. So oh, you right. write three, three books at the same. Oh, okay. So I'm working on the second one. Mm -hmm. um, what is that about, if I may ask? It's going to be... A sequel to this? It will be a... Yeah, it is a, not so much a sequel, but it's going to draw from it and 
really all the best uh, uh, fantastic this is the book uh, don't think of a blue ball is the book that uh, you can log on to that website which uh, we mentioned before and get hold of this book and uh, malti thanks very much for talking thank to us thank you so much raj yeah. thank you so much right